Good day everyone. We will be discussing module 22, Late Childhood the Intermediate Schooler, Cognitive Development of Intermediate Schoolers. Before we proceed to our discussion, may we present the outline. Introduction, Initial Cognitive Characteristics, Leading Development, Attention, Creativity, The Impact of Media, Media and Aggression, Implications to Child Care, Education, and Parenting. Introduction Since children of this age are already in their late childhood, rapid development of mental skills is evident. The concrete operational begins around age 7 and continues until approximately age 11. Concrete operational thinkers, according to Jean Piaget, can now organize thoughts effectively, although they can only logically perceive the immediate situation. The reasoning and logical thinking are still limited. The child is now mature enough to use logical thought or operations but can only apply logic to physical objects. Children become less egocentric and better at conservation tasks. For us to understand, let us have Howard Gardner's definition of intelligence. Intelligence is the ability to create an effective product or offer a service that is valued in a culture. A set of skills that makes it possible for a person to solve problems in life. The potential for finding or creating solutions for problems which involves gathering new knowledge. Initial Cognitive Characteristics The children now are enjoying their cognitive abilities because they can now utilize more effectively con compared to their thinking skills during their primary years. Right now, their schoolwork is now complicated and their ability of logic and reasoning will give them more chances to think about what they want and how to get it. Right now, they are thinking about their interest in their future and in their potential careers. Let's say those students that want to be a doctor, want to be a nurse, and also develop interest in collections, hobbies, and sports. Some kids love to sing, someone wants to dance, someone wants to go on a basketball uh, sports volleyball and right now they are more capable of understanding concepts without indirect hands-on experience the initial cognitive has five characteristic number one reading development two attention three creativity four the impact of media number five media and aggression Let us now proceed to reading development. Reading development. Children in this stage is marked by a wide application of word attack. Because of the presence of the previous knowledge, they now have a wide vocabulary which enables them to understand the meaning of unknown words through context clues. This is the reading to learn stage in reading development. They are no longer into the fairy tales and magic type of stories but are more interested in longer and more complex reading materials such as fiction books and series books. Attention Right now, older children have longer and more flexible attention span compared to younger children. Their span of attention is dependent on how much is required by the given task. In terms of school work, older children can concentrate and focus more for longer period of hours, especially if they are highly interested in what they are doing. 
creativity. Children at this stage are open to exploring new things. Creativity is innate in children. They just need a little guidance and support from parents and teachers and people around them. They are usually at their best when the work is done in small pieces. Creativity in children is encouraged when the activities encourage different responses from each child, celebrate uniqueness, break stereotypes, value process over product, reduce stress and anxiety in children, support to share ideas not only with the teacher or parent but also with other children, minimize competition and external rewards. To enable the learners express their creativity, teachers need to be an eager participant in children's growth and development, must understand how to use the children's natural curiosity to help make the appropriate development leaps in their skills and abilities, must create an atmosphere where risks can be taken and discoveries made while children remain safe. Now, the impact of media. The impact of media, media and aggression. Television unit in every classroom started 1950s, the first technological advancement in school. The impact of this technology advancement to students like computers since nowadays. We rely on technology for our online schooling and this helps students to communicate effectively in speech and writing, work collaboratively, can easily communicate with other classmates and teachers. The teachers and students can use technological tools. They can analyze problems, set goals, formulate strategies for achieving those goals. Seek out information or skills on their own as needed to meet their goals. Using high-tech instructional tools provides students more clear understanding about the lesson. This will help students to encourage to participate and interact during the discussion. This will help minimize effort and maximize the time for discussion. Media aggression according to Public Health Summit of 2000 as the result of negative impact to children using technological advancements are increased antisocial and aggressive behavior, less sensitive to violence and those who suffer from violence, views the world as violence and mean, fearful of being a victim of violence or abuse, desire to see more violence in entertainment and in life, views violence as acceptable way to settle conflicts, media aggression should be supported by groups like the following, responsibilities by parents, teachers, and whole community. Collective efforts to support children in their development. The teacher and other adult must be a role model to children to guide them in their developmental stage. And the last one, implications to child care, education, and parenting. According to Erickson, Children in late childhood are very busy or industrious. They are constantly doing, planning, playing, getting together with friends, and achieving. These are very active time and a time when they are gaining a sense how they measure up when compared with peers. Erickson believed that in this industrious children can be successful in their endeavor. They will get a sense of confidence or future challenges. So, how they become successful in their endeavors? Of course, with the help and supervision of their parents. Parents plan an important role of their child's development. 
They have responsibilities to perform such as Provide an environment that is safe for the child Provide basic needs Teach them morals and values Develop mutual respect with your child Provide discipline which is effective and appropriate for the children Get to know your child and involve yourself in your child's education Children who receive support from their parents develop an appropriate mindset, motivation, and self-discipline at school. This engaged parents who are not interested in the academic life of their kids often promotes school failures. Parents' involvement during the elementary school improved literacy growth. There are benefits of parents' involvement. First, Perform better on standardized tasks. Get better grades. Have a good attendance. Feel better about themselves and about school. Take challenging classes. Behave better at school and at home. Continue their education after high school. And lastly, have good social skills. Cognitive development of intermediate school children can use concrete operational thought because they learn several new concepts such as decentering, the ability to project the self into other people's situations and see the world from their viewpoint rather than focusing only on their own view. Accommodation the ability to adapt thought process to feed what is perceived. Conservation The ability to appreciate that a change in shape does not necessarily mean a change in size. And last, class inclusion The ability to understand that objects can belong to more than one classification. That's all for Module 22. Cognitive Development of the Intermediate Schoolers Hope you enjoy our presentation. Thank you for listening. Ciao!